Willie can't hear this beat right now, but you know, you know what time it is when you hear the beat playing. It's about to be the Nine Wings Podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got my... Yeah, I, I, I didn't tell you, man. I got... Uh, oh, you got some wings, didn't you? I, I found two... I got two wings, man. I got two of them. Oh, yes. You know, this He's time, dirty. you know... He is dirty, Yeah, I folks. got two wings. I two went to the wings. grocery store... And I found a pack of, oh, there's a pack of six. Pack of six. So, you know, yeah, pack of six. You know, the kids got, uh, you know, the older ones got two. And then, I mean, the older kids got one each because they had other stuff. And then the baby got one. So, which leaves me was supposed to be the reason my wife did a, a mommy tax so left me with uh, two. What is a mommy tax? Because I don't, I don't ever get mommy tax. Well, she made the food so she got to the, the chicken wing before I did, so. so. So is that when you eat one fresh out of grease and not consider it? Yeah, she ate one, yeah. We, we just wanted to make sure. Pretty much. Yeah, she got it. She got it. Nah, I ain't mad at her. She got it. Well, I, I, so, can't, I can't be mad. I made I made um outstanding bougie sandwiches yesterday. Oh. Well, see, you didn't even get to share that yesterday. At least I'm sharing this with you, sir. I, I know. I mean, you, you took a... And I spoke to you yesterday. I know, but this was later on. I didn't talk to you afterwards because it was kind of late night. Oh, last, yeah. Yeah. Bria came over, my daughter, and for lunch, and I made her and my my wifey. My I, I don't do Bojangles, but I know how to make the chicken sandwich like Bojangles. Bria's all crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. You so know? you just had an all in house. Oh yeah, my. So you do. So what was it? Chicken breast you made or? Oh yes, it was. You know, I got me a chicken breast fillet that bad boy. Do you tenderize it like you beat it up with the, the mallet? No, I didn't. I didn't. Mullet? No, I don't. I don't. I don't tenderize it. I have a padded and way of cooking it to seal the juice inside, um, mm-hmm. so that it pulls apart and it's all juicy and melting and it, popping in your mouth. Um, that's that's the way I like. Oh, it. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know, like you get that crunch. <laughs> And then you get that, mm, right. like that, that savory flavor right. of the chicken and the juice just running in your mouth. When you look out the window and somebody's looking in, out at you as you eat the chicken sandwich in the car and you don't even care, you like, this is just too good. It's that type of chicken sandwich. Yeah. I love this thing. Uh, excellent. Yes, I can't tell. Baby, look, mm. at, look, look, look over Excuse there. Excuse me. Yes. I'm enjoying my chicken sandwich. Look at, um, look at yes, him. I make a love to my chicken sandwich. Uh, my business. Uh, you wish you had one of these. He got yeah, mayonnaise all in his mouth. Right. Look at him. He don't even know. Don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you on that one, man, because, <laughs> you know, with the pandemic and everything, yeah, you know. Speaking of the pandemic, yeah. I it ain't, it ain't closer. The pandemic is. What's on your mind, bro? This pandemic. Me. I have a yeah, pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is some yeah. great CBD tonight. <laughs> I haven't been able to smoke my CBD because of COVID, but I'm back on it, and uh, it took my breath away. I don't like uh, COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I will tell you where I get my CD from, CBD from, but it's gonna have to wait until after this weekend. But uh, this right here is that uh, the Delta Eight. Remember that. Woo! What I was about to say before the Delta Eight hit me. I don't have chicken wings tonight. I got Delta Eight. You know. So I was about to say. Uh, woo! I thought I was about to go out of here. 
she was about to, yeah, I thought she was about to be like a don't be missed South Central White Church. She's in the hood. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I'm glad we weren't. I'm oh, glad that, we weren't oh, no, live no, no, no. video right now because they would have seen me like <laughs> grasping for air and everything. I was, I was, I was choked up. This is this is what happens when you're, you're laying it down live. But um, what, yeah, what, I, what, I, I walked into a restaurant on the radio. You'd be like, like hello, 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 bougie. <sighs> I didn't want to have that issue. I went you know. into a, a, I'm going to say a Trump supporting restaurant, okay? And when I went in there, the seats were flipped mm. upside down. And they had like tape around the seats. So you couldn't get there. So, me and a, it was a me and a black gentleman and a, a lady of the, Ellen Persuasion, she was there. Um, ah. Yeah, that's how I, I use that word. Because, you know, from North Carolina, we don't want to get in any baby action. So, um, so these, gotcha. these, it was like three, I think it was four older people. And they had um, veterans, um, a veteran thing in the front of the car, and bumper stickers, you know, support the troops, blue light matters type deal, you know, you know, they, they, that was, so they come in, they placed their order, and the um, lady was like, yeah, we're only doing to, to go, she was so oblivious, she hadn't noticed all the seats upside down, and she told the lady, I've driven too far be eating food in my car me and the black gentleman we had that moment of truth like we looked at each other just our eyes with the mask on like we looked like yo black people been eating food in their cars for years what are you talking about then it made me think about something right to these people right. who are upset about corona upset about masks upset about vaccines are the same people who thought it was okay to have white only and black only drinking faucets. And they considered it to be okay because it was law. And we as a group of blacks and brown people throughout America what? had to deal with Jim Crow laws like the water fountains, eating food at the back doors, Speaking of back doors, kind of like going to Parker's getting chicken in the back. All that stuff we had to deal with. Do you think we said, no, no, in the beginning, finally someone did step up and say, no, 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 no. But in the beginning, if we stepped up and went against the law of Jim Crow, they beat us, hung us, and killed us, right? So why is it so hard hey. for them to understand about wearing a mask? I'm just trying to figure it out. Well, well, let's see. Let's 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 let's, let's see. Because <sighs> it's well, one, it's not a law. Okay, it's, it's not a law to wear a mask. Not a uh, amendment law. Okay, neither was Jim Crow. But go ahead. Yeah. I mean, there's stuff set up in the law that still is a catch-22 for us carrying weapons. Yes, yes. Um, um, yeah, so even though it, it is legal in the state, govern-wise, we're not supposed to carry uh, legally. So it's just like how marijuana was introduced to the masses even though the state said it was fine it's still illegal in government's eyes so if you get pulled over by a government vehicle you could most likely could get arrested for having marijuana possession and that's why I tell everyone to get CBD 
That way, yeah. then the police will pull you over with a couple of pounds in the back. They see a CBD. And then you offer them some. Sir, I know you're having a stressful day. This buds on me. You hop in your car and what? What can But I mean, people can't even do CBD unless it is a prescription from the doctor because anybody can now walk into a store and get CBD. But if your job, like my job does, does drug tests and stuff like that, you're in the danger of losing your job. But don't your cataracts but, mess up all the time, sir? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know. Sometimes you know, can't see, man, you know. I mean, you should go to the doctor and let them know your cataracts is messing up and you need a prescription for something to mellow you out so that you can see better because it's beneficial to have great eyesight so you can see what's coming. Why? Right. I'm I, I with you on this one, but... Since, you know, that's a process that we have to go through and you have to find a doctor that's cool enough to do that to understand your um, your situation. Mm. Uh, you know. Yeah, so, but I think it's more so that, you know, they don't like they don't like to be told what to do because they normally say what they want to do and they have free will to do what they want to do. Wow. But since now that it's mandated for them to put a mask on and you telling them what to do, they look in their DNA to me and their DNA from back in the days, um, I came over to this country, you know, we took it over, da 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 anybody telling us what to do. This is, uh, we took this country over because it's, you know, for our freedom. But that's so, the thing I don't get about just, that. Um, just just the implement, they're implementing a mass mandate that is cutting into their freedom. Hmm. And then you're getting some news from some people that are saying, yo, we got places where we do have beds. We do have these things and we're just not going to give them out to the public or the masses. Like oxygen beds and stuff like that. Excuse me. Well, and some people have this thing, well, you know, if they say I'm vaccinated, then hell, I'm supposed to be vaccinated. This stuff supposed to work. This hell, is your I'm fault if something happened to me. I'm on round, round the brothers in the brotherhood. My hearing your brother, and I mean, I tell you, I ain't around them, oh. them niggers who carry around that disease. I don't have that, those people around me. Right. Those do they got but I got I came up with another thing too. Um what if they want to get vaccinated, right? They don't get vaccinated. Or say they do get vaccinated. We put it that they got vaccinated. And they say, Well, if I get sick, it's your problem and you guys gotta take care of me. That means I ain't gotta go to work. Huh. Let them try that one. I don't think they're going to do that anymore. But here's, here's what happens. So Delta Airline, Delta is going to dock their employees $200 a month extra to put towards insurance if they won't get vaccinated. So basically, if you don't get vaccinated, you're going to lose $200 worth of pay. Every month. Oh, they're gonna get vaccinated. You know how much they're gonna get vaccinated. The average person who makes it out from having COVID, do you know how much the average price of that runs? No. Forty thousand dollars. 
forty, thirty to forty thousand dollars for your COVID hospital stay. What? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Think about Damn. that. You don't want to get vaccinated. You want a new. You want a new car. Forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars. You about to throw out the window and freak your credit all the way up. Because you know you're not gonna be paying that bill back. Nah. But I thought they oh, supposed they to have funds to pay for people with COVID. I don't. This is getting weird. Who took those funds? Uh, who took that away? Where did that money go? I don't know. But they sure did have. They sure did have uh, incentives for people to go and uh, come on and get get the COVID shot. And, and and let's let's just all kumbaya. Oh man! Speaking of COVID, guess what happened to my kids in school today, sir? What happened? So somebody in my kids' school tested positive for COVID. Already? A seventh grader. Yeah, seventh grader. Third day of school. Day three. Day three, COVID. Day three. Day three, already a COVID scare. So, let me segue this real good. So, basically, I'm going to go into this this song right now by my man, Pillar the Finesse and Young Mo Blind. So, they hit y'all blindly, third day of school with COVID. Let's go. Here we go. Yes, sir. Shout out to Young Mo. Shout out to Pizzle to Finesse. The boys cracked 100,000. 100,000 views on YouTube. Give the boys a round of hands. Oh, wow. I got some long my wrist like what's the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Look inside my wow. eyes and tell me what you find. I've been mean, searching for your love, but I'm blind. Ice all on my wrist, like what's the time? I got wrinkles on me, so I keep an eye. Look inside my eyes and tell me what you find. I was searching for your love, but I'm blind. I was searching. Overlook my flaws, I ain't perfect. I can't lay up with you, cause I'm working. I might never find a way to buy your ass a Birkin. But police, they might find an eye on me when they be searching. Y'all, they please just pray for me. Cause if they find me with the shit that I just stashed, then ain't no need for you to wait for me. Riding in that pins, then you might get used to this lifestyle. Might not see tomorrow, it ain't too late to love me right now. If I take a loss, I wanna see your love regardless. Handing me my gun when I leave out and say, be cautious pocket full of presidents i'm feeling like i'm trying to run for office what i spent around my neck and make them nauseous ice all on my wrist like what's the time i got wrinkles on me so i keep an eye look inside my eyes and tell me what you find i was searching for your love but i'm blind ice all on my wrist like what's the time i got wrinkles on me so i keep an eye Look inside my eyes and tell me what you find. Yes, I was searching for your love, but I'm blind. Lately, I've been working all up on my grind. Chasing money daily, cause that's all that's on my mind. Know I keep it real, cause oh. that shit be hard to find. Ice up on the rollie, make it hard to tell the time. Caught in the car to bed, now he riding Ooh. out the time. I'm fresh up out the kitchen, throwing bake up on the nine. Really came from the bottom, I was talking straight to sides. Mo said it was life, so I know that he gon' ride. By my side in the trenches, I resign. Sliding in that foreign and my seat be on recline. Shorty, give me brain just to see what's on the mind. I know these niggas hating, got me gripping on the iron. Praying to the maker like I know I it ain't my time. Like, what's the time? I got wrinkles on me, so I keep an eye. Look inside my eyes and tell me what you find. I was searching for your love, but I'm blind. Ice all on my wrist, like, what's the time? I got wrinkles on me, so I keep an eye. Look inside my eyes and tell me what you find. I was searching for your love, but I'm blind. Blind. Yeah, they, those guys cracked that 100,000 on um, 
on YouTube today, you know. Um, Congratulations, fellas. So, you know, they running the numbers up. You know, the wow. song is Blind, Pills of the Finesser, and Young Mo. Young Mo is out of VA. Pizzle is from the 252. Salute for the 252 one time. Oh, congratulations, 352. All right. Oh, yeah. Are we moving on up? Are we moving, moving on up? On up. Uh, up. Wow. To the that was a good song, side though, of the sky. You know. That was a that was good, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very proud. He set a goal of a hundred thousand. He's really his next goal is a million, but he set the goal and he did it organically. So that is also a big deal. Like, cause you got those people that go out there and get unorganic numbers. We won't call any names, but we know. There are people out there that do go and get those, what we call, um, sneaky leak numbers. You know, they they'll go get a little mm-hmm. sneaky leak number and slide it on in there. You know, and let it go. So you know, I'm like, okay, I got you. I hear you. Oh, this did great, man! Wow. Well, speaking of, uh, speaking of, since we're talking about rappers today. Wow. Yeah. I can't remember exactly who this was with Cardi B. So Cardi B recently did a song with a female. You're talking about I'm uh, pretty sure you might. No, not Lizzo. It's uh, no, like a pun for you. Words. No. Cardi B. Um. Yeah, cause she um, they got mad at her for you know, there's some like you know they didn't need her on the song. She could have been like uh, like on the remix or something like that. And you know, uh, who JT? She got to lose his feelings real quick, huh? Who, who JT and the City Girls? No, 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 no. It was uh, mm-hmm. Naomi. Ah, no, I mean, no. How, that's how you say that? Normandy. Normandy. That's her name. I don't know why I was thinking Naomi. Normandy. Yeah, Hit it. Register. But yeah. So, you know, she was getting into her feelings a little bit or whatever because, you know, the people was like, yo, she didn't need her on the song or whatever. I mean, the song is good, you know. And, you know, I like the way that uh, Normandy doing her career and everything like that. So, but, you know, uh, you know, Cardi had made a big thing on Twitter and it's like, well, if y'all don't want me on the track or whatever, then I'm going to recant my... You know, I'm not going to promote it and, you know, you have to take away my verse or whatever the case may be. So, but at the same time, Cardi's pregnant, so she be in her feelings. And, you know, first thing I thought about when I first heard it was like, yo, but you always for the underdog anyway. So, this little girl is technically the underdog. So, why are you worrying about what other people are saying? Mm. Well, I mean, but but you know, she did take it back. She she took it down. She took it back, and then I think homegirl, she was just like, nah, you know, Cardi, Cardi's the one, you know, Cardi be the one who was fighting for me behind the scenes that nobody see or whatever the case may be, and you know, Cardi had a change of heart about it because you know she was just like, yo. <laughs> she should be the first one to know about the type of struggles that she had to do trying to be involved in hip hop. You know what I mean? Hmm. Well, you know, so I, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, because you know that could have went like real left, real. It could got ugly real quick. 
And I, I just want to commend on that, you know, because you know some people don't, you know, you know when people commit when they're wrong, or commit like, yo, I lost my head a little bit. You know, this what you've been doing. You've been fighting. So you got a part, a, a, a girl now that she's trying to do her thing and doing it a certain way. And you know, if you was normally supportive of that, then. You know, you don't need to change it. Right. Now, let's take a trip on the male side. We're going to go still stay in Atlanta. And I want to ask you, have you heard of the rapper named Germ? Who? Germ. No. Well. I mean, no. Germ is an up-and-coming rapper or Latin rapper I don't know if he's a drill rapper I haven't listened and I'm going to listen um, and find out but there's something crazy so did you hear about the lady named Mariam that got kidnapped and, and they found her dead who? no Well, okay for y'all that don't know August the 13th a lady was kidnapped at gunpoint by a guy in a security outfit little known is that she went with an Atlanta up and coming rapper named Germ and Germ watched this all unfold and he didn't do anything so if he's a drill rapper or even a gangster trap rapper and you watch your girl Will your girlfriend pulls up to your house Mm -hmm. she gets out of the car another car pulls out with a gun sticks it to her what are you going to do he pulls her out of the car uh no she gets out the car and he comes up on her and he snatches her up and throws her into his car and leaves with her oh that ain't no so are you going to come out and say something or what are you going to do call 911 um since I'm in the state that I'm allowed to, you know, we're going to have to rain some shots or something. Something like that, you know. Well, I'm going to... We ain't, we ain't going out like that. I'm going to read off of what Germ called in to 911. He says, somebody just left... I him. mean, and if this dude... First of all, if this dude... If this dude... If... Uh, I mean, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. If I'm a rapper, right? Mm -hmm. And I rap about how in the streets I am. Because I'm pretty sure with a name like that, he's in the streets. That's part of it. Fuck that shit. So, um, so you telling me that you are oblivious to your surroundings? Any Uh-oh. dudes that I know that's from the street are not oblivious to their surroundings. That's like really into it. You know, because paranoia kind of comes with it. Okay. Um, you know. You just, know. Just for, kinda ha- for shakes and giggles, I'm going to play his last, I guess the last song he dropped. But just by going off the name and the situation that happened, I'm pretty sure he talked about how much in the street he's in. This is his song. He ain't talking about no Corona. I can tell you that right now. Hey, yo, I ain't, yo, I ain't messing with that Corona, yo. I can, you know, like, he ain't doing all that. <laughs> and he said his rap, his rap name is Germ, right? Yeah, he said he keeps the fourth fifth in his Hellcat. That's all I need to know. So, um, okay, um, okay, got the fourth fifth in your Hellcat. First of all, half of these people can't even hold a forty-five with one hand. And most of them can't whip the Hellcat with one hand. So we have a problem. But just keep going. 
<laughs> now, now let me let me out. let me tell you what he said. He says, "Does he calls nine one one, and he says somebody just left with my girl." Oh my god, bro! I watched you just kidnap get kidnapped in front of my house. What the? Uh, oh my fucking god! Then he says. Yes, I watched it through the window in my front yard. He had a gun pointed to her and forced her into a car. He had on a security guard shirt. Four hours later, the young lady, R. Peter Marion, was found dead. Now, now let me let me go back. Wow. I'm going to spin back the music for a bit, wow. folks. Here we go. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so um, we're going to have to go with... um. Wow. Your raps is all cap. No disrespect, sir, but... <sighs> sorry. Yeah, your raps is... I'm sorry. All caps. And they yeah, found no. the guy who did this. His name was Demarcus Brinkley. Allegedly did this. Um, or person of interest or whatever. He is being charged with murder. False imprisonment. Aggravated assault. Possession of a... Possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. And his Instagram post, he has pictures of him with two guns. How are you going to shoot two guns if you can't shoot one? I'm well, just trying to understand this. I, I, you know, what I'm sorry is for that this girl had to go through this and she probably this whole while thought she had this real gangster G and he did not step up. And um I mean Ladies Don't fall for the hype. You're gonna be just like that chick that um what was that chick? That uh <clears throat> she ended up dying because she exposed that one of those gang members were like uh, it was, was like gay, gay and and they killed her and they yeah. chased her through the city and whatnot. Yeah, see, yeah, and th this is the thing. Don't get me wrong. Entertainment is entertainment, but that's why it's entertainment. You so, want... so you're right. If you're going to entertain, at least give them an entertainable thing that you can do. Like if he a rap, like yo, when the bullets start coming, I start running the opposite way. She would have been like, no, not. To, she might have been followed by him. You see what I'm saying? And and she came to his house thinking that he was gonna come out like Yo Samley Sam or Irma Fudd. Instead, like he was like Porky Pig. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. This is the one time I'm not even going to disrespect the pigs by even saying that. Um, cause <laughs> the pigs will shoot. Uh, I, we 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 do know this. So he's not even on the level yeah, he, of a pig. He, yeah. So, yeah. You know why? Because he did. He did try to hunt down uh, Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny at one point. We old can't, porky we, pig. Yeah, oh well, yeah. All the new stuff is crazy. Speaking of new new cartoons, I was watching the Muffet Babies and was disgusted. The Muffet Babies. Yes, sir. Um. What did the Muffets do this time? Well, Gonzo wanted to put on a dress, and Miss Piggy and the other. Female characters told him that boys wear pants and that girls wear dresses. And Gonzo went and started crying about it over and pouting in the corner. And a fairy rat father 
screaming on a it. fairy I'm, rat hawk. Hold on, is Gonzo? Gonzo is what a bird, right? He's the bird with the long nose. Yes, the male bird right. with the long nose. I, I'm trying to figure out how the heck did they get a rat to that's that's. So okay, it was a rat playing with them. There was a I don't like rats. So there was a rat playing with him. The rat came up and said, "What's wrong?" And he goes, "So they got Max and Splinter. Gotcha." Yeah. So the the rat comes up and does a bibbity bobbity boo, and he goes, "I'm a fairy godfather rat." And he was like, "Really? You never told us that?" He was like, "Well, none of y'all never asked." With a kind of sarcastic <laughs> way, and I was like, "Oh." Um, hmm. This is about to go really bad. This and is going to go left. Then he tells Gonzo, "You can wear a dress. Boys can wear dresses. And because I'm your fairy god, Father Rat, I can make it so that your face won't be recognized. We'll change your face up." Then you can wear a dress, and then you can be disguised with the girls. Bippity boppity boo. Wow. And he made him into a transsexual muffet. I had to hit the button to see how old do you have to be to watch this. When I seen this is for like 18-month-olds to like five-year-olds, why does it matter to a five-year-old, 18-month-old, to wear a dress, a little boy. Why are you? Why is that even in the circumference of the curriculum of that show? He need me learn how to count one, two, three, four, five. They should. He should have been like one dress, two dress, three dress, four. No Gonzo, no. Five dress, six dress, seven right. dress. Like I would have went with that, but. Like, why are you pushing that agenda on kids with an impressionable mind? You see what I'm saying? Uh, All right, so they ain't going to have a chance. Now, then it makes me go back and think about the mask. You know what I'm saying? These kids have been right. taught by cartoons and different things throughout the 2000s. that They don't have to follow authority. Think about as many things where authority is challenged that you watch. Now, they're challenging the authority. So we we have a great place here in America now. We have a, what do you want to call this place now? The great world of, of trial and error? Because it's like we're the we're the trial, yeah. Wow. Hmm. That's that. That's um. It, like we're 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 like the lab rats. Guess what? We're going to give you another vaccine. See, the first two, we were testing to see if those were going to stand up, and they didn't. Then we need to give you another one. Now, if something else comes out, if this doesn't stand up for, guess what's going to happen? Just think about it. Instead of testing on rats, they're testing on us. We're the test dummies now. Crash test dummies for COVID. We're crash testing for COVID, and we got shows telling kids that it's okay to wear a dress. I you did know, dress weird, like but I never had on a dress. I didn't put on a skirt. I didn't put on none of that. That 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 wasn't. I was weird, but not that weird. And plus, like our TV shows and stuff, which didn't is, make which it is crazy. Make it like it's crazy because um, you know, Seth Meyers wore one, 
which I thought that was kind of crazy. Martin's wore a dress. Uh, yeah, you know, Diddy. Uh, mm. You know, Omar Epps. Bruce Jenner. James McCoy. What? Oh, I'm sorry. James McA... What's that? A... McAvery? Yeah. Um, Kevin Hart. Um, yeah. Jared Le... Le... Ah. Uh, uh, I'm getting tongue tied saying the name. Jesus. Jared Leto. Yeah, Leto. Oh. Patrick Stewart. Oh, you forgot about one. Star Trek. No, no, no. Patrick Swayze. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Uh, Wesley Snipes. Jaden Smith. Oh yeah. Right. Dennis Rodman. He I mean, Drake, all. all these guys, like, <sighs> even Jay, which I was surprised about when I was looking it up. I was just like, what? Kanye? Those, those skirt was, pants. Pant, pant skirts. Yeah, man. Mm. Young Thug. Mm. Lil Wayne. Mm. Like, you know, like, what are we doing out here right now? We're following trends and not being ourselves. Just because it's thought, trendy, you know, it doesn't mean you should do it. Yeah, I mean, like, I thought we, we, I thought, you know, these guys up here, these guys are supposed to be trendsetters. You know what I'm saying? You know, I look when I look at, you know, a Jay or Kanye or something like that, you know, I look at you guys to be like trendsetters. Hell, you set a trend by uh, you coming out with a song like Death of Autotune. Uh, <laughs> but then Autotune didn't die. No. It didn't. It came down some. But think about it. It's just, but it was trendy. Yeah. You know, you set a, you set a, you set a tone. I mean, after you came up with that song, you kind of set a tone. You know, um, you know, you know, when when uh, Jay or Fifty or Kanye or. Some of these guys, athletes, they come up with sneakers and stuff like that. That is a trend. That's a you setting a tone to something. Get your glass slippers. You, you, you. Well, yeah, that's, that's crazy. But I'm just saying, like, you, you're a trendsetter, you know? You, when these guys come with these clothing lines, they're making a, a setting a trend. You're not following everybody else. So to see that, it was just like, wow. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But don't try to sell it to me like this is something new that you just came out with or whatever. Because then, you know, some guys, they were like, oh, well, you're just not secure with your sexuality or you're not secure in your own skin of being a man or whatever. Now, I'm, I'm pretty secure. It's just the fact of, you know, you know, we introducing these kids such at a young age to all of this stuff here. And you don't give these kids time to develop. Right. You, you're making a choice for them. Like, I'm pretty sure. Right. It's, like, these celebrities that go get these kids from Africa, their little boys and dress them up as girls. I'm pretty sure these boys don't want to be dressed up as girls but they don't want to go back to Africa where they were at so uh, I'm a girl and that's kind of messed up right so I feel like now you know we are a disadvantage 
that's what you put this in. It's a disadvantaged situation. Not being mindful of what are you impressing, impressing these kids. I mean, I mean, we are, to me, the agenda is not saying that these guys are following, you know, are like in a cult and, you know, in a room and say, yo, this is the agenda this week or this is going to be the agenda for the year, you know? But what I'm saying is, is it's like, I feel like there's an agenda. If you cannot depopulate or you want to slow down the process of reproduction, then you will promote you will promote the activity of you know a- male like a male, a- female a- like a meat female. You know, you 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 send that out there to slow down the population. And, you know, I'm not taking away from people who are, but, I mean, I feel like you should be able to make that decision by the time you get into college or some shit like that. Yeah, I mean... You know, you know, and you, and you about 18, I say you fully... De- I, I, I feel like by maybe about, like, 23... Yeah, your mind is developed. You know, yeah, you, you, you're pretty much, you know... Gave it a shot, you know, whatever, whatever. I finished about 23. I think you're pretty good. By then, you're you're out and about. And uh, you're living a little bit at that particular point. You know, you're exploring a little bit more. you free them to go. You're not living with your parents. You're probably in school or something. Some still live with their parents, but, you know, you know you're out there. You're exploring. And I think then, you know, that's why some people use college as their, their stepping ground to, you know, find who they are. Mm. Some people don't. Like, I went to work. Uh, me, I didn't understand. I had to, if I could go to school for free for 12 years, um, just to understand why I got to go pay for another four years. Just didn't get the concept, but that's another thing. Well, I mean, I mean, and even if I did had to pay, you know, for further in education, I don't think I should be paying. I don't think I should be paying back a, a loan for the next ten to fifteen years. And that's why you get scholarships, you know, because that profession that you might go into for college may not necessarily pay you that kind of money. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you? Right. I, I met people that work for McDonald's and, you know, they got, like, master degree, stuff like that, you know. Not everybody makes it out of that, you know, good after you graduate. Like, I talked to some people, you know, they're to my, yo, know, interning and stuff like that. And that's cool, but what's the intern after you've done the intern and company don't decide to choose you or whatever, and you may got the experience, but the company's like, ah, uh, ah. You got to go work at McDonald's and try to find something else while you're working there. Or, you know. Yeah. I just don't, I don't, I don't see it sometimes, man. I don't see necessarily that's always going to have a positive outcome. I'm not saying that school's bad. I just feel like if you don't go there, you know, look into the type of career that you're trying to get yourself into and see if college is going to be ready for you to get to that career. And if it is, so then go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Like, perfect example, you is a perfect example. You went to school for what you do. Right. You know, which um, in turn benefiting you to be able to do these great things that you do with these people. You can record, you have your own unique sound, you're able to do video. Obviously, you be doing radio. Um, 
you know, you, you, it, your, your skills and talents are necessary in this world, you know? So, yeah, I can understand that. And by the time you get through and you, you rock out, you be able to pay up the student loans in no time. Yeah. You know, depending on how hard you grind, depending on, you know, what falls in your lap, what, you know, you know, what, what wherever you land at, you know. So, yeah. You could definitely get into this thing on your own. But I don't feel like everything is going to be beneficial to the to the average college student. Well, did you know what you wanted to do when you came out of school? And that was the thing. That's what they say college is supposed to help you do. Figure out what you want to do. But in the midst of me figuring out what I want to do, I'm creating so much debt figuring out what I want to do. How are you creating debt? Are you talking about if you're in college? Yeah. But that's why you go to college when you know what you want to do. Exactly. So I was a kid. I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I came out of college. I knew one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to race. At that time, but I wasn't in the. I mean, in New York City. Racing in the city. I mean, you know, I wanted to do NASCAR. So if I was back up, back up, probably if I was back up. So y'all were watching NASCAR in the city. Yeah, my dad. It didn't get boring to you? Nah. Hmm. That's interesting. That's I watched the NASCAR older. race yesterday. As you get, you know, like, when you understand, like, what goes behind it, like, people just think, oh, this guy hops in a car, goes in a circle, round and round and round, and it's, oh, this is it, right? But, this is something that you got to love to do, right? So you got to think about it. It could be 100 degrees that day. So it's 100 degrees plus whatever your car is emitting. There's no AC in there. You're in this hot-ass jumpsuit. You constantly got to be drinking. You ain't going to have time to go out and pee. That's why this guy's pee in the suit. So I'm pretty sure after they're done and all of that, I'm pretty sure that suit stinks. But that means you literally have to fight dehydration. Let alone you have to focus on the track. Let alone you have to focus everything around you. Let alone you, you have to try to hit your marks every time you go around a corner. Every time. So, and then on the back end, you know, you got to work out. You got to literally work out. It's, you know, (laughs) yeah, you got to be physically fit to drive this car 200 miles at 150 to 200 miles an hour for, say, 150 laps, 200 laps, however long. Especially going to a place like uh, Milwaukee or something like that. I got turns and all this other stuff. And you probably doing like 73 laps to that. Like, it's real. Mm. IndyCar. You know, that's real. Even if you don't want to do that, you want to go to like the other type of car races where you got the Porsches, BMWs, uh, the Mustangs. And even Mazda has their own little thing where you get a Mazda 5, you get out there and you race them. I mean, not a Mazda 5, Mazda Miata. Mm-hmm. You know, just to do that for 50 laps, if so, 20 laps, you, you know, you have to be mentally, emotionally, physically prepared to do that in the elements. 
Hmm. And for you to just stay on point each time and it's and just to get that done is amazing to me. Just like even if you was riding a a, a motorcycle. Like if you're doing motorcycle racing, whether you're doing dirt track or whether you're doing a circuit, moto, GP, which is more dangerous to me in, in the car. Um, do you understand what you have to go through just to just think about it? Like dudes be just on an amateur level and dudes will run out of, to go to a track and have a track day. And I think it's like, we pay like maybe a hundred, two hundred dollars for a track day. And then you gotta, you know, set your bike up properly or whatever. Just to do a track day, do you, that's work. I, I believe it. Like, no, I, I don't take anything away from racing. I, it just wasn't something that fascinated me. Like, yeah, I mean, like, that's, and I understood you know, like the mechanics like of racing and drafting and the wheels and, and keeping up the right. And I, and I didn't even stay in that. And I'm not even, and I didn't even get to that part yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so many intricate moving parts in that 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 makes it like, yo, yeah, I want to be part of that. I always thought they they held the you know, water. I, I never thought they urinated on themselves. I, I don't yeah, they hand them. Night. Yeah, they have water. I, I I don't. I think they may have like something in there. You know, they could sip something from a straw or whatever. But I know when they come in, man, they they try to stay hydrated, man. I know that for a fact. Mm. I know that for a fact because it is hot in here. You think we, you know, stuff that we do in these, uh, you think you went, when they win them races or whatever, and they do whatever they want to do in that moment, and they get out them cars, and they be ready to get out them cars, shoot, them guys are drenching. Well, that's it, folks. Now, we learned that you're going to lose some weight, and you're going to lose weight. NASCAR is the way to go. The new song we're playing right now is OC Next Day. So the next day after that race, you is going to be something, something stanky and a little bit underweight. Here we go. I'm Big Bougie. That's Willie B. The one on ESC 96. And uh, remember, if you get out there on that race, Jesus Christ, I never thought about that. <laughs> What if someone scares the shit out of you? Oh my God! The next day you gonna be. Who is the oh dude that has to clean that car? That's it. We're gonna I see y'all next I, week. I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> oh my God! I just thought about it. that's the. Oh my God! Next day, OC. Let's go. Oh my God! Oh God! OC. Oh, somebody's funky. Yeah, man. And then we'll be running up and hugging on them. Oh, my God. It's just changed my whole way of looking at stuff. Them is some trifling ladies. Oh, y'all funky, bunchy, bunches. Ooh. Oh. Look, just got wings everywhere, man. God, you understand? you understand how real that is? You know, I ain't playing on my side now. Keep me safe. Yeah, 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 yeah,
We're gonna see y'all yeah. next week. Just remember, yeah, do not buy any NASCAR suits. It's not sanitary. I mean, you better, you better take it to the dry place. <laughs> <laughs> when the nigga ran, hit me, talk to the ass. Nope, nope. Yeah. Hey. You know, you get, you get your dry cleaner, you know, they have a clean out, box it off and make a little exhibit, a little museum. Yeah. Oh, 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 you know, well, we can talk about that next time. Talk about bubbles. Yeah, we can have bubble talk next time. Y'all better listen, though. That'd be interesting. Niggas taking life for granted. Like, niggas don't care if they live or die no more. You hear me? That's right. Strays ain't got no names. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? What? And my hood know that. First hand. Y'all niggas better stop playing. I had to. I had to. But like, catch up to y'all niggas. Exactly. It's old shit, though. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm out. What? What? One day.